August, the verse is, the Lord is my light and my salvation, the Lord is the stronghold in my life, Psalms 27, 1. I have a lot to do today, y'all, um, but I am going to be uh, changing my sheets, so yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> with these sheets. It's so cute. <laughs> satin hot pink ones I got from Shein. I washed them before I put them on. Um, but yeah. I just dropped off my Amazon return and it was like literally less than 10 seconds. So yeah. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jack. Guys, um, so I completed two shop orders and I noticed the shop only orders are paying more than the deliveries now, which makes zero sense. But I did two shop only orders and got nine dollars for each of them and the current batch they want me to do is seven dollars for two orders and one of them is a delivery i was like that makes zero sense how um i'm getting paid less for more work because honestly i shopped so quickly that i shopped and probably completed both orders in like 30 minutes so um, well, each one took about 30 minutes to do. So, yeah, I'm just realizing the shop-only orders are sometimes better than the deliveries. Um, I am about to pack um, to go up to my mom. So, I'm going to go grab my suitcase. I'm only going to be there maybe two days. Like, tonight, tomorrow, and maybe Thursday night. So... I don't need like a big bag, but I'm going to pack like enough stuff so that I can like work out at night. Some of the old stuff. I still need to pack food, but then my suitcase, that's my shoes, that's my like, I always keep an extra tote bag for like last minute items I might want, and yeah. <laughs> Pretty much 
much my whole fridge. Um, because I don't want to have to spend any money on food. Um, and this is my DoorDash bag from when I used to do DoorDash. So, This is just a a normal, it's normal for me to do that, okay? Now let's enjoy some boba. But y'all, I had to take my mom to urgent care, so that's where I am right now. Right now, they told my mom to go to the emergency room, so that's where I'm at now. She won't say what the issue is, so she said she had abnormal EKGs. I'm not sure what that means. And she had a doctor's appointment coming up for it, but. <sighs> no, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm hoping and praying my mom is healed, healthy, blessed, and prosperous. All right. All right, y'all. So my dad came, so he's with my mom right now. And basically, um, to update y'all, I wasn't really going to vlog about it because I honestly still don't have a lot of information about what's going on, but my mom said she had, I, mean, I don't want to share my mom's business, but basically a few days ago, she texted me and my sisters that she wanted to make um do her like last will and testament and she wanted to do a zoom call with us because she had recently had some they had found something abnormal and she didn't really go into details but um we were supposed to be doing that tomorrow. Um, so anyways, um, literally I'm glad I came when I did because pretty much shortly after I got there, I literally ate lunch and then my mom said she needed to go to the emergency room. Also, one thing I know for sure, I do not
guess they're still running some tests on my mom. And... Oh, sorry, I'm tired myself. I forgot that she had asked me to grab her charger. So I had started to take a nap and then I like remembered. But I'm doing okay. Honestly, I'm just trying to, I've just been praying for my mom. I feel like my main thing is I just want her to be able to rest and get some sleep and I feel like her not being able to sleep is the biggest reason she's not feeling the best um so yeah I just really hope she gets the rest she really needs because she's been working for so long and probably should have waited to turn but anyways I'm just hoping I'm praying for her to get the rest that she needs so she can get a full recovery and yeah um I don't really have any information my mom hasn't shared any like details other than she had like higher blood pressure than normal um, and her pulse was really high. But she also is not drinking enough water. She's not taking great care of herself. So I'm probably going to stay with my mom the rest of the week. Um, and just make sure she is taken care of. And drinking her water and all that good stuff. grabbing stuff from my mom that she asked me to grab and I wasn't with her oh my god my god freaking out so yeah 
yeah. She's definitely not the most calm person in a is not the person you want to call in an emergency situation because yeah all right i am back at the hospital um i don't really have any updates on my mom i don't think i'm like i feel like i i understand it can be serious but i feel like right now i'm just wanting to make sure my mom is you know, just being properly taken care of, and pretty much all I can do. Okay. Sorry, y'all, my lips were dry. $34 order so sad but this lady um, just now she was short like 21 cents and I just gave her the money and she was acting like it was like the biggest thing ever I was like girl it's 21 cents it's fine <clears throat> but that was so sweet Anyways, here's what I got at Dollar Tree. I got four things. One is a snack because I'm hungry. Um, I got um, the meat stick and cheese from Jack Link's, the original. Um, I got another brow pencil because I gave the one I had bought before to my mom. And then I forgot my um, to pack a brow pencil with me and my makeup. So, got that. And then I also forgot lashes, so I got two more lashes. I got these. These are the Wispy Handmade Wispy Full Dramatic. And these are the Natural Light Dolls. So I've used these before. I don't think I've used these. Um, they didn't have like the schoolhouse ones that my, the Publix that's closer to my mom house has. So I might go there. Um, to get those lashes y'all know i feel like i love buying lashes and then i like barely wear them but i promise y'all i'm going to be just trying to wear lashes again just because sometimes i feel like i want to be that girl and put on some lashes but i literally have the most random makeup on right now because I wanted to film like a little get ready with me in my car type thing so yeah I think I'm gonna head back to my mom's house um it's like seven o'clock um I'm pretty sure she's feeling better because she had the energy to fuss at me and call me a big mouth because she thinks I I've been telling everybody her business which like in a sense I have I have and have not like I told like my sisters I told people to pray for her but you know she's more upset that family members she didn't want to know found out but the family members she's upset about I didn't tell I'm like other than my sisters and now my dad's mad people are people are calling him slash her to ask how she's doing because she really just needs to rest which is true she needs to rest so people need to leave her alone but you know i also think at the same time you shouldn't hide when you're you shouldn't hide things from your siblings or from your family when you you know need help or are in a situation like that because family wants to be there to help you and guide you but at the same time if the family members are going to bother you or not help with you know feeling better 
I get that why my mom wouldn't want people to know, but I didn't do, I didn't tell, I didn't tell her siblings, like my aunts, my grandma did that, so I can't take responsibility for that, but that's probably going to irritate my mom, and I don't want her to be mad at me, but yeah. All right, y'all, my camera was so dirty. I have been duped and I'm kind of upset because the delivery distance said 16 miles on the app, but the actual route is gonna be um, closer to 17, but takes freaking 30 minutes. I hate doing those really long deliveries for that reason because I feel like especially here because a lot of people don't live off of the interstate, they live off of highways, it's always hard, but yeah. almost 10 o'clock um i literally did my last instacart order at like 9 30 and then the lady she was kind of aggravating but apparently an item was missing and i had First of all, she lived in like a really hard address. So I was struggling to like get there and see everything at night. And then she had like a gravel driveway, but there was no way for me to turn around. So I was already kind of like frustrated. And then to make it worse, she was trying to like message me and tell me to wait because she didn't have an item. And I told her, like, I gave you everything that I had. I told her I gave her everything I had and that she would have to report the missing item with Instacart and they will either refund her or try to get it um, someone else to pick it up. But I was like, I'm sorry, I'm, I really can't do anything. I'm tired. I was already tired and it was already a struggle getting to her address so yeah i'm about to shower and get in bed um not gonna lie i was hoping my mom would be home by now and she's not so <sighs> i'm gonna just continue lifting her up in prayer and trying to, you know, not let my mind go to worry or panic, <sighs> which is, I guess, a normal because that's not going to help the situation. But I was hoping that my mom, I kind of knew, though, because my dad would have texted me if they were on their way home. Um, going to leave this light on for my mom forget how to turn on the stove light oh where's the button okay gonna leave that on for when my dad comes my dad's been with her this whole time it's been about it's been almost 
eight hours. So she's been there that long. They're probably gonna keep her overnight. So <sighs> have to check up on her in the morning or she might get back later tonight. Cause I know she was wanting to come back home. But yeah, guys, it's been a very kind of, this day did not go, turn out at all the way I thought it was going to. I thought I was just gonna work today and, you know, having to deal with like this serious, a serious matter and not having like, Knowing exactly what's going on is kind of hard, but like I said, I can't do anything right now, so. All right. All right, y'all, good news. My mom is back home. Um, they ran a bunch of tests, but they said everything was fine. So that makes me really happy. Um, I can actually go to bed and get some rest because I don't think I would have been able to sleep, um, knowing my mom was still in the hospital, honestly, and I'm also really tired myself, um, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys, and I know by the time you guys see this, like, this will have been a while ago, but yeah. All right, here's a quick overview of what I packed also. So, I have my toiletry bag, which is always a bunch of stuff. This is also like skincare toiletry. Um, brought some body mist from Bath and Body Works. I got Happy Vibes and Summertime Sir. I packed Disco Daydream Body Lotion. And then these are my makeup bags and then my laundry bag. Oh no. Well, my laundry or makeup brush case just literally fell apart. Um, but yeah. That was that. And then these are both makeup bags and I'll do what's in my makeup bag tomorrow morning when I actually do my makeup and then this is just all of my clothes which I need to find my PJs oh and jewelry bags more jewelry bags I overpack every time guys and then this is like a smaller skincare slash makeup bag I have. I usually keep this one in my purse, but yeah, that's what I brought.